So yesterday I had the opportunity to visit the Middlebury Institute of International Studies in Monterey. And this is a school that is really well renowned uh, worldwide for its programs uh, surrounding international studies, diplomacy, and foreign languages. And I was surprised to learn that they have a department and a degree in non-proliferation. If you don't know what that means, what that means is it's the pursuit to try to eradicate the spread of nuclear weapons um, or weapons of mass destruction around the world. And I was just fascinated to find out that there's a, that's a whole field of study and that they specialize in that at the, um, at the Institute. Another specialized master's degree that they offer there um, is a degree in conference interpretation. This is a really specialized field of interpretation um, and it's considered to be the most prestigious form of interpretation, which I just found fascinating. I don't think I'm anywhere near ready to even apply for a program like this. However, uh, maybe in a couple years, if I keep working in this field, uh, it'll be something that I'll pursue. Um, it's considered to be prestigious because you do conferences in cities all over the world, and you can um, stay, you know, they usually put you up in really nice hotels, and they um, have really fine equipment for you to use. It's, you're usually working in what they call a booth. Um, where you have a headset and so you um, are in a soundproof booth so you just hear what's being said and then you interpret it into a microphone that is transmitted into you know the people that need it in your language into their little earpieces so it's very sophisticated equipment and um, it's an ideal environment Although, when I was taking my introduction to interpretation class, Judy Jenner talked about how oftentimes it is not an ideal situation. Sometimes your booth will just be at a table where you can hear everything around you and they're going to be able to hear you as well. And so, of course, that's less than ideal because it'll interrupt what you're saying. I also have a world-renowned international library that um, has an amazing collection of books in languages other than English. So over a third of their collection is in a language other than English. And they also subscribe to 35 different newspapers every day from all over the world. So you can read the daily news in any language that you can imagine. So these are some of the things that I found fascinating about um, the Middlebury Institute of International Studies in Monterey. Um, I'm interested in perhaps taking a Russian class next summer. It's an eight week intensive class. I'm just starting with conversational Russian right now. So I can't even, you know, in, I can't even understand the alphabet yet or, or write the alphabet yet. But over the co course of the year, I'm going to put a lot of effort into that and we'll see if I'm ready to take a class there. Or maybe I could just sign up for the beginners class there. And apparently it's a really, really strong program. And within eight weeks, um, I think it counts as like, over a year of doing it at a university. So I'm excited about that intensive prospect next summer. Anyway, if you want to learn a foreign language, I think uh, the Institute of International Studies in Monterey is a great option for you. It might seem a little bit advanced, but um, you can do things to uh, start building your language skills in order to be able to pursue something like that in higher education. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. Go ahead and leave me a comment about um, anything that you want to know about foreign languages in the future. I would love to uh, get some ideas for some videos in the future. Thanks a lot, and this is all for today on Zito Enthusiast. Well, since I'm here, I thought I'd show you guys a little bit of this beach that I did my little recording on today. It's kind of an eerie day because there's fires around, so you get that funny filtered sunlight.